Okay, we're headed to a 1980s property. It looks like it's been flipped. Um, normally on those flipped homes, we find some pretty good stuff, but how I want to do this one is I just want to like, kind of go in the mindset of what you should be looking at in a flipped home. You really don't want to be looking at all the paint and you know, the countertops or whatever, whenever you're going through the inspection process. A lot of people, they get into these flipped homes and they fall in love with all the cosmetics really fast, but they don't look at the majors. So let's go in here, let's look at the majors and see if this one's worth purchasing. Let's go check it out. So we're starting to see some mortar improvement in some areas on this property doesn't mean that the foundation is bad. A lot of people don't like to see mortar cracks, but you want to start to keep a tally in saying, hey, the foundation may have had some movement in the future or in the past, in the past. <laughs> this looks really nice over here. You can see uh, two new train units and you can see that they are 2018. You got a five ton. You know, this is a, a really good looking uh, HVAC system on the outside. We don't know what we got on the inside, but whenever you're thinking about a flipped property, you have a newer roof, you got two newer HVAC systems. It seems like you're probably gonna run into less problems down the line so far, but oh, here you go. You got some more mortar cracking showing up. So we're starting to see some more signs of possible deflection on the structure. So. We're adding all this up as we're moving along. So moving a little bit further down, we're starting to have some more brick deflection cracks. And uh, um, you actually have a crack through the slab right here. Let's see if it shows up. There you go. A crack through the slab right here. And then you have a deflection crack down the edge here. And we're running into another crack through the slab. So. Another thing down the line is the, yes, in uh, Houston, because of our clay and sandy soils, you get a lot of deflection cracks, but the cracks that you want to really pay attention to are these horizontal cracks. So if you start to get these horizontal cracks, that means that we actually probably have some true deflection in this area and the foundation might need to be resecured with some, with some piers. So let's look down the brick line, which would be the next step to see if we see any type of movement. It's really hard to show on these cameras sometimes, but as I'm looking down the, uh, as I'm looking down the brick line, there's actually a sag right here. So we're not going to fully recommend for a foundation company yet. What we're going to do now is we're going to whip out our zip level on the second pass of the interior of the property and see if we have any movement. So as a home buyer, you're really not gonna have these tools. So this is whenever you have to start to, you know, start to add these things up. You're like, hey, I might actually have foundation movement on these properties. That doesn't mean don't buy the structure if you have foundation movement. It says, hey, this one's probably gonna need some work. So you got to do, you know, risk versus reward. I have two new HVAC systems, I have a new roof, but I have foundation issues. It's a 1980s property, so you're always gonna run into something in these older properties. You just have to just judge if it's worth it or not. And this one's a little bit harder to tell because of the cosmetics, because coming around the corner here, you can see that there's some heavy mortar right along the lines here, but you can see the mortar is thicker at the top and smaller at the bottom. So it's showing that the wall is shifting in this direction but you could they added all new trim boards so you can't really see from the the cosmetics that the the wall is actually shifting out of place you kind of have to look for the smaller signs uh where they've repaired the mortar and the windows are new too as well so even with newer windows you're not going to see the gap in between the window and this location uh but they even added fresh mortar up here too so Oh, I mean, there is some gapping right here. So yeah, we do know this foundation's moving. We just have to determine how much and uh, we wanna get the buyer to get a quote to see how much it costs to repair this wall. So the next good sign is actually seeing PVC in the uh, front yard here. So it shows that they probably replaced 
uh, the cast iron at one point in time. And what I like to do is just kind of pull these off and uh, look down to see if it's PVC all the way down to the bottom. And yeah, um, let's see if you can see in there. It is. So that's a that's a that's a really good sign uh, that they have possibly replaced the cast iron uh, plumbing and you have PVC underneath the structure which could have been one of the reasons for the foundation movement in the first place because you can see that this is probably where the main sewer line went it could have been cracked underneath the structure causing a lot of moisture to travel underneath the property and then it settled also another story that could have possibly happened was whenever they dug underneath the structure they didn't pack it up well enough and then the structure settled so there's a lot of things that could have happened here but we just need to know if the foundation is continuing to move or not and this is where an engineer will come in or they can just get a quote and put some piers in if i was buying this property and i was moving in i'd probably put some piers in to prevent any future movement uh living into it just to remove the headache and then for the other side of the structure, it looks like we have another little deflection crack here. And so you could start to see that this property has uh, suffered some movement in the past. But uh, this brick line looks okay. So I bet it's more all, all the whole story is on that side of the structure on the other side of the structure. And so uh, not, a, not a bad property so far. Okay, after walking around the exterior, moving into the garage, and uh, we have a water heater here, and you can see it's newer. So you're gonna add that into another positive thing about the property. You got a 2019 water heater, 50 gallon, and a lot of these flipped homes, the, the water heater is ancient. So you could cut, kind of start to see that they are taking care of this one, which is, which is nice. So next thing is, is you actually have PEX, you have copper, and then we had galvanized on the top of the water heater down there. And we have some signs of corrosion here. Let me get my flashlight. Some corrosion around some of the fittings in the plumbing, on the copper plumbing. So this could be evidence that they might be having some if issues with the plumbing in the past. So we do write up prior repair, but as we're going through the structure, we want to keep our eyes open if we see any other signs of plumbing failure or previous plumbing failure. If uh, copper is installed wrong, you can get electrolysis through the whole copper system and uh, the piping system can start to go bad and that can be a pretty big bill. So we're gonna try to see if we find any more evidence of actually failing uh, copper lines here. Okay, uh, we are inside the property now after traveling around outside. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, head to the attic spaces. And that's kind of what you want to do after you know that you, you like the property is just kind of take a peek in there. Uh, even whenever I purchase my properties, what I do is I uh, pull down the attic space and I just look in and I always ask permission like, hey, I know uh, I'm the buyer, but can I just look in the attic and kind of do a quick scan to see if you see any major issues. And when I say major issues, I mean like you pretty, should be pretty easy to spot and for the most cases you're going to see you know, crack rafters, you're going to see HVAC systems shaking out of place or old or rusty. So you can kind of get a dollar amount. Um, if it's going to cost you any money moving into the property. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Check this out. That's the chimney. That's what's supporting the chimney on the roof level, that big, heavy brick chimney. It's, it's falling out of place and it's crumbling in the attic. So I don't even normally I kind of get an idea of how much it costs to do something like, you know, repair things. This I don't even know because that's a lot of brick. That's a lot of weight. And I think this is going to be one of the major problems that this uh, buyer is going to run into that. That's not normal. What is normal and what does look good is you can see that they have a new newer train furnace and a newer coil. So. It looks like their HVAC issues will be very minute moving into the property. We do live in Houston, so I'm sure they're gonna run into something, but 
This is the least of their worries is the HVAC roof and yeah, HVAC and roof. <laughs> so uh, also looking up, we uh, see some older water stains in the attic space. We'll test them and see if they're active, but this probably came from the previous roof, but we still have to document them uh, as home inspectors. And then what we'll do is we'll go outside and look at the roof again in those locations just to see if there's any holes or whatnot in the shingles. So always double check if you start to see these. So there's a path. Whenever you're walking on like these platforms, don't step in these type of locations. Make sure you step on the rafters. But what I want to do is I want to get closer. You can see it to see there's missing insulation, which is a, co a common write up. Uh, but oh, see, look, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You stepped on that board, you'd go through the ceiling. Um, we're gonna come around the corner here and what I wanna do is I wanna be looking at uh, the plumbing where we saw it corroding in the other attic. See if we see any evidence. Yeah. So look, they replaced with PVC over here. And then look, let's see if I can get my camera situated. Sorry, I'm doing all this by myself. If you can see right here, we have some evidence of corrosion again, and they've replaced some copper water lines with PVC, which is not normal. You don't normally see that. So let's make our way over there and see what we're gonna run into. Okay, so crawling over there, uh, don't see any damaged water lines, just see some corrosion. And that's the problem with being a home inspector sometimes. I can't do any further investigation. I can't go behind the walls can't really grab the pipe <laughs> but grab the pipe and it crumbles and water starts shooting everywhere they're gonna be like what'd you do so the best that we can do is say hey there's previous evidence of prior repairs you have PEX water lines you have PVC you have some galvanized and copper so you have a little bit of everything which uh, sends off some warning bells when it comes to the plumbing because plumbing in a property like this you have some weird angles bathrooms in odd locations it can get pricey to replace the plumbing so this would be kind of one of my next biggest worries next to, well, actually my first biggest worry compared to this uh, <laughs> fireplace here. So um, we'll, we'll write it up. We'll recommend for a licensed plumber to come in, take a look at it and uh, write them a quote uh, for future replacement. And so they have an idea of what they're getting into moving into this uh, structure. Okay, inside the structure, if you can see here, you have some tape twisting in this location where the, the tape is twisting um, and you have some tape twisting over here and you could cut, this is on the same location where we had the um, the settling on the outside of the structure. So tape twisting, settling, foundation out of level. So the story's starting to add up that they're probably gonna need some sort of foundation repair. So the uh, next area you can see See, they have patched this recently, the fresh paint, and the crack opened back up. So we have a lot of signs leaning to, to that this foundation is still moving. So let's see if I see anything over there. I haven't really walked over here yet. So you're seeing this as I'm seeing it. So let's see if I see any other signs. Oh, there you go, right there, look. Another deflection crack, and this one's not even flush. You can kind of see yeah, it's, it's at a level there. So yeah, we definitely have some movement and then you can see the baseboard is not level either. So like I said, these flip homes, you're always gonna find something, but this one, they have plumbing issues. They have foundation issues uh, too as well. So those are your, your, your two big ticket items. And I'm not saying don't buy it. I'm just saying get the numbers. Oh, foundation issues. I'll, I don't know what's wrong with me. Foundation issues, roof issues, and the, uh, you know, with the chimney and plumbing. Man, ADD kicking in hard today. <laughs> so, yeah, you want to try to add all these things up. I mean, these are quick spots. I've been here 20 minutes. You know, while he's uh, wheels inspecting, it takes a lot longer to inspect a property in 20 minutes. But you can see that you can find these things pretty quick if you're looking at purchasing a property just by doing a, a quick walk around, a quick look at the property. So the day's not over. We actually have a team meeting coming up 
and uh, I'm gonna, we were doing like a constructive talk on three-story HVAC systems and the things that we're finding. And what we do is we get all 10 of us together and 12 of us actually now, man. Uh, we get all of us together and we just have like a constructive talk about the problems that we're seeing with properties like that. So we all become more well-informed and help our buyers find the issues. So come and join us on our team meeting. Hi. Uh, Josh Donahoe, 81, Tyler at 157, continues to work seven days a week, apparently. Uh, John is at 138. We had zero complaints, which is, which is great. You know, yeah, got to, still got to knock, right? Month isn't fully over yet, but it was out of 243 inspections, which is fantastic, you know, and that is even from the seller side. You know, normally all the complaints come from the seller of some sort and um, nothing, you know, so uh, that is that is great, you know, so just shows further on that you guys are pros, which uh, I, I mean, like as soon as I saw that and I was like going through my notes, I was like, I didn't write anything down in 30 days. There we go. Wrapped up the team meeting. Mary covered all the numbers at the beginning of the team meeting, which everyone likes. And then I go over operational and and critical thinking items or any issues that show up during the team meeting. And then Josh always reiterates some of the critical thinking points. And then also he covers the software, any new software updates. So uh, if you are interested in those comments or any of the comments that he was talking about, uh, we sell them on homeiw.com. Yes. And we you, sell the handbook on homeiw.com. The handbook, exactly how we operate the business. Yep. And then um, that's it. So keep, follow us along. I'm going to try to do my best to record every Tuesday and release a video once a week. So hit that like and subscribe button and catch us on the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.